Hello smart people, Rose here. Welcome back to Academic Gus and today we're in day 18 of Academic Gus and for this day I'm going to share with you the answer to some of the questions I get in a video I made a while back about why I chose industrial engineering. <laughs> As I mentioned, this video is to answer the questions that I have gotten in the comments for the video of why industrial engineering. However, these questions are somewhat generalized so that they can apply to most of you looking for answers to questions related to industrial engineering. However, if I do not cover your question on this video, please leave it in a comment down below and I will try to answer them as best as I can. So it depends. I cannot give you the correct answer or choose for you which one to do. It depends on what you want to do. Where do you see yourself working at? Or if you already have a job, which of these programs will be a better fit for you? In terms of the industrial engineering and the system engineering, there's somewhat of a weird line between them. Some argue that they're the same thing, others argue that it's not. But what I'm gonna tell you is that it really depends on how the program is structured. So you need to look at the courses each of the programs are offering because there could be a case where an industrial engineering master's is a better fit for you just because the courses they offer align better with what you want to do in the end of the day. And it could be the total opposite where the courses that are offered in the systems engineering track is better for what you have in mind. However, an MBA, a master's in business administration is targeted to people who want to be at the management level of an organization. So if that's really your end goal, an MBA can be the thing for you. However, if you want to be the management of an engineering related company or business, then you could probably use master's in system engineering or a master's in industrial engineering. Like in any field, there is competition because we are not the only ones who, at the end of the day, graduate with that degree. When we graduate from our bachelor's programs, there are probably around 100 people that graduate on the same year with us. So what I'm telling you is there's, yes, there's a lot of industrial engineers. Unless you graduate with a specialty, with a PhD, etc., and you can, you're the only one who can fit that bill. But most of the time, that's not the case. However, I believe, and from what I have seen looking throughout job postings, there's a lot of opening for industrial engineers. So even if there are a lot of people going for industrial engineering, there's still a demand and the rates of unemployment are not as high as for other disciplines. Let's go even more general. As I mentioned on the first video, industrial engineering can be applied to basically anything. So yes, it can be applied to sustainability, it can be applied to environmental, it can be applied to manufacturing, to nonprofit, to anything. And for the specific case of sustainability, it can be for optimization of how you basically set up your energy producing sources, machines, however you want to call it, even your solar cells, in which way should they face, or your turbines, etc. So there's always a way to optimize the system and to improve it. Yes, it can. Actually, I know a few of my friends who have created their own business after pursuing their bachelors in industrial engineering. One of them has a farm and he produces specialty products. Another one has uh, multiple businesses 
And yeah, it, it really depends on your resources and your creativity. And most definitely, industrial engineering is going to give you that toolbox that will help you to manage and improve whatever it is you're building. The possibilities are endless. You can work as a manager, you can be a teammate, a team player, you can be a control engineer, you can be an optimizer, you can even be a programmer for a specific task in industrial engineering. So it, it really depends. It depends on the company, on the job posting, and some job postings are somewhat vague and they will tell you, oh, we accept people from finance or industrial engineering. So really look throughout all the details of the job posting and you can be basically anything, even a CEO. So that's it. Those are the most frequently asked questions related to industrial engineering. I hope this video helped you to answer some of the doubts you had or questions you had related to industrial engineering. If there's still something that you would like to know, leave it in the comments. I will definitely do my best to answer your questions. And that's it. That's it for this video. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, smart people.